100 rated chess, but you need to trap every type of piece, and pawn, at least once. Okay the first thing I know is that this video is definitely going to be long, but I don't know if it'll be a successful one. We get a 124 from India. E4. E6. Aha. Here we go. E5. Ha. I trapped his pawn. D6. E takes D6. I mean the biggest challenge is obviously trying to trap his queen, so if he can just bring his queen out right now. Never mind. D4. I bet you everything I have that he'll play queen a5 next. Absolutely. Blocking with the bishop is just chasing the queen back to her home, therefore, knight c3. I mean since he only has one queen, I cannot take it before I trap it. So in no world do you take my horsey right here. g6. Bishop d2. h5. Very aggressive. Knight b5. Alright. First attempt. I'm attacking his queen, and even though queen d8 defending the fork is the best move, there is a chance that he'll go queen a4 instead, which then allows b3, trapping the queen. Well, I mean just leaving the queen there to death is also an option. d5. I don't know, I guess controlling more squares in his territory is not a bad idea, and spoiler alert. This d5 move is actually a brilliant move that will have a crucial affection in the later gameplay, so if you want to play along with me in the video, I suggest you pay attention to that pawn. David. Queen takes b5. It's fine. c4. Alright, I'm sacrificing this pawn to bring the queen closer for more chance at trapping it. Well? I mean at least she got closer. Rook c1. Again, even though he's blundering his woman multiple times, I cannot take her before I trap her. Queen g4. Knight f3. Queen e4 check. Very aggressive. Bishop e3 allowing my queen to defend David should be the best move, but actually, I have a better idea. Bishop e2. Please take my pawn. Thank you. Rook takes c8 check. King d7. Queen c2. Nothing much, I'm just defending my rook, there's absolutely no suspicious intention here. Bishop g7. Ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Bishop c4. That queen. Is trapped. Let's see. Dead, 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 dead. Queen a5 still dead. Alright, next stop, the rooks. Bishop h6, bishop d5, a6. That blunders a king, but of course we cannot do that yet. Bishop b6, king e7. Well I guess it will always be possible to checkmate the king at this state of the game. Bishop takes b7, and with that, his rook is trapped. Bishop f4. I'll take the rook. Bishop h6. Ok so let's talk about this for a moment. The remaining targets are the knights and the bishop, but the entire idea of trapping a minor piece is actually more difficult than it seems, because for most of the time, they can just take one of the pieces that are trying to trap them for a trade, or may as well just take a pawn and make a sacrifice. So to be fair, I suggest we just ignore the trapping knight and bishop part, as that can easily be made into an entire video, and I also don't have much time left on the clock. Therefore, bishop d8 king e6 bishop d5 sacrificing king takes d5 queen c4, the king is trapped. Mission. Kinda accomplished.